Welcome back, this is part 10 of Let's Play Persona 5. Last time we started out, got through some of this treasure palace, this palace this dungeon. This time we're going to continue on, see what's in store. Uh, okay, so we started that way. Let me go behind here. Um, wait, let's see. Is Oh, I guess I have to go up the stairs. Okay, that's cool. Really? Wait. I have to go downstairs? To go down to go up? That doesn't make any sense. I haven't played this in about a week, so I'm not really sure. No, we came this way. We, we definitely came. Wait, did we come this way? All right, let's see. Let's go this way. Let's go this way and see what happens. Oh, no, because you because we came to the safe room. And so then we go this way. All right, let's just run up behind this fool. When you run, they cannot hear you from behind, which is kind of useful, I guess. Um, keep that in mind if you... If you want Eric, Ice, and Lightning, ah, uh, whatever, just do this. Go! Oh, something else to point out. So, critical hits in battles, they work like weak, uh, or super effective moves, weak hits on enemies. So, if you hit a critical, then you get the one more. Um, and actually, there are certain moves that we'll see later in the game that are pretty useful because they uh, have a higher crit chance, which are, I love to use those. They're just really. Uh, really effective in certain situations, but um, yeah. So the, the criticals they work as one mores, um, but if you get say a technical hit, that does not you know work as a one more hit. So just keep that in mind. You see that you don't get that's why. No, today is actually Tuesday, so hopefully the landscape is okay. It's actually pretty rainy. Um, because I know in the last, like, starting part, you can just hear for, like, the first ten minutes just leaf blowing in the background. Um, but it's been raining, so I hope there aren't too many leaves to blow. And even if it is, uh, I don't think blowing at rainy leaves is too useful. But, uh, it's officially September 11th. Um, it is four days after... Wait, what? There we go. It's four days after Spider-Man came out. And I did not get it. I did not get it. And uh, I'm not too mad about that, you know. I have I've heard nothing but good things about the game. I'll be perfectly honest. I've heard nothing but good things. Um, I guess Tomb Raider also came out, which that seemed to do pretty well. I was reading it earlier. It seemed like it's a little. It's a good game, but it's kind of stale because the formula has been done so much lately by uh, Tomb Raider, Square Enix, or whoever develops that game. Um, so not as you know. Oh no, I hear him. I hear them, they're, they're around the corner, those leaf blowers, even on rainy days, I guess. Um, right. But yeah, Tomb Raider, it's nothing really that you need to we run out and okay. purchase automatically, but I mean, it seems like it'll be good. Now, Spider-Man, I told you I'm waiting. I'm waiting, because I want to see the DLC, I want to see if they give me, you know, a bundle. Give me a bundle. Give me something to work with. Don't just hit me with that, uh, with that, hey, you can buy $20 worth of DLC for the first three months of the game's release. Like, nobody wants to deal with that mess. Wait, let's go there. Alright, just hop out of cover. As long as, oh, he's gonna turn around? He's gonna, he's gonna turn around. Okay, he goes straight. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. What are you doing? Alright, whatever. Just go. There we go. But, uh, I don't know. I think, uh, I, I really, I'm, there, there's a, there's a itch in my pocket, so to speak. There's my, my palms are itching. I don't even know what you say, but you, I, I want to buy the game. I do. I really do. But uh, the DLC stopped me. So I'll be interested to see how that turns out. How long the DLC is. Because if it's like, you know, let's say the game is 20 hours. If it's an extra like 10, 15 hours, then it's worth it. If it's like a 2 hour DLC, like an extra 2, 3 missions, I'm not really sure how Spider-Man structures its gameplay. But, uh, you know, then that might not be might not be worth it. Um, but because it's not Nintendo, the price will go down eventually. So I'm not really in a rush. Honestly, I haven't even finished God of War. Which, yeah, I know, it's stupid. I just, uh, spoiler alert, take this. I just, uh, killed, what's his name? The guy, the, the, the Freya's son, uh, Balder, I think this is his name. Yeah, I just killed him, so. We're getting towards the game. I, I believe I can actually go to Jotunheim now. Like, I, I actually have done all the, the side stuff that, that they require of you to be able to go to Jotunheim, so now I can actually go to Jotunheim. Right, let's pull this. See what happens. Hey, look! There's a round invitation. Oh, a key. A key. All right, let's okay, keep a let's look out. I'm just basically gonna keep any light. room that I go in. I'll have this uh, little hidden eye, third eye vision, whatever you call it, that sight up. Because, like you saw before, the King's Book. 
that is illuminated blue. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Match that A. Oh my god. That was scary. Um, Alright, let's just do some of this. But, uh, yeah, the items that you need, like key items and dungeons, they're all really like, blue or something along those lines. Um, so, that's pretty useful to keep in mind. Keep in mind. And really, any time that you get to a point where you need puzzle items, just keep your finger on the L2 button, really. Because there's no penalty. That's the best thing about this. Some games, they would have hit you with, like, a penalty if you wanted to use that ability and be like, oh, you can only use it, you know, every, say, there's a cooldown, it's like every 30 seconds or something. But, uh, this game, not so much. How suspicious. What's this, the Queen book? Yes, called it. Uh... Okay, anything behind me? Hmm. Alright. Hmm. But cool thing is I actually I always end up getting maps in this game um, like I've never played the game where I don't get maps wait a second let's see. let's go this way and uh, I, I can't imagine doing this without the on-screen map because unlike in last person of these I missed this before but the dungeons aren't randomly generated so you end up you know being able to kind of map your way and plot your way through the game as opposed to some games where you're like oh I just you know we'll keep fighting until I find the exit King, Queen, and Slave book. Okay. Also, my apologies, but uh, I really need to work on getting a new computer. I, I never really, I didn't bother to. Okay, I didn't bother to get one. I have one, but it's not really for recording and stuff. Uh, so it's a little frustrating because I need to get one because this this one's kind of old. This is the one I started with when I started the Burning Let's Play. I guess it's just kind of old. I updated it, but you know, the updates screwed your computer. Um, and so I've been having this trouble where the Elgato's been working decently well. I mean, la episode 8, I guess, it really screwed up where it just chopped up some of the video. Um, but I'm going to try to keep these parts to like 20 right. or 30 minutes and obviously not nearly as long as any of those were. Um, but that said, um, my audacity has been causing problems where I it, it just chops up audio or like it... I don't know if it's... I, I'm assuming that it's like cutting out some of the dead silences and then it's like desyncing with the, the game audio because you end up having uh oh he's a special guy All right, it's oh wait no it's just a treasure Joker. chest it's a treasure um chest. so it desyncs the audio and they have to come go back through and like match it up with the video as opposed to being able to be like oh i started the recording and just kind of sync it up that way uh so we'll see how this works i don't know it Show me your shouldn't be horn. too much of a hassle um, but as long as a video comes out all right i can kind of fill the audio with things it's only really a problem when I'm commenting on specific things. Like, honestly, like post commentary used to be like a, a black smudge on what's playing industry, so to speak, where it's like, oh, if you post commentary, you can't do this off the cuff. You're no good. But honestly, it doesn't really matter because unless you're commentating directly on the things that are happening and reacting in the moment, it really makes no difference. So, you know, it is what it is. I do like this scene though, how the guy he comes when you uh, open up one of these chests, one of your teammates will pat you on the back, like come in, you know sit next to you, whatever, cheer you on as you do your thing. Uh, Alright, well, let's see what we have here. Right, there's a book over here. Oh, that's right, so you gotta put them back. Alright, so cool. This one is the slave book. Because it's talking about the kids and the, the people, what you talking, the volleyball team. Alright, where's the next one? I do like how the music changes here too, because it's like a puzzle element. It doesn't always do that, but I think for this first dungeon, they really want to pull out all the stops um, and kind of get you engaged. So if you just had like the regular music, you end up just feeling like it's um, it's just like another piece of the dungeon. So I like this. All right, there we go. Secret passage. Oh wow, that globe, I'm looking at it, it's actually accurate. Like it's a real life, like there's North South America, Africa, Eurasia, Japan, like Australia's down there at the bottom. That's kinda cool. You never really see that in games. A lot of times it's just generic Focus. shapes and whatnot. What? Yeah, this is kinda creepy. I'm not gonna lie about that. Won't even lie about that. Are you, are you gonna be okay? Thanks. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Anything out oh, to the left? There we go. So we get two things. Kamushu's metal. Hey, look at this! And I believe that is the second half of the map. Yes indeedy. Okay. 
Sweet. All right, so we're just about at the end of this. Um, huh. This will be interesting because I don't even know. So one of the things you'll find out, I guess. Oh, actually, I'll just wait. And we'll talk about this a little bit later. But this is really creepy. Um, like, would somebody be tied to those sores? That's, is that are those even sores? There's like pillars. I don't even know what they are. But uh, here we go. Let's go out the door. And hopefully nobody respawned. The best thing about this game is that because the sha the shadows aren't exactly random. Like, the shadows are always in set locations. So, if you go too far away from an area, they will respawn like any video game. Like, think about the th uh, Final Fantasy 13, where the encounters weren't random. They were just on the overworld. Uh, right. Now, the shadows that can appear in the encounters themselves aren't exactly set, I don't think. Um, but, you know, the locations of the shadows that you encounter on the overworld are actually in, you know, one area. Um, A safe room oh, might cool. be safe room. What's, uh, where is it? Here it is. We'll open that up. I'm not gonna save just yet. I'm gonna go for a little while longer. Hopefully, I can breeze through this. Um, this last portion of the dungeon. This part actually took me a little while. I'm not gonna lie about that. Because uh, when you first play the game, you're not nearly as strong. Like you don't have any weapons, obviously. So you get to this point. Actually, no, it's the next room. All right. Anything in here? It's somewhere. Oh, there's one thing over I here. Can feel it. May may not have mentioned, but those things that come up, the yellow items, those are all treasures. You can sell those. You have no reason to keep them. Uh, they're basically just trash loot, yeah, so that's good to keep in mind. Um, Focus. Joker. But this room, right? There are no guards to start, but guards do pop up here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, if you come, you start running. I think they pop up. Oh, it's the auditorium. That's cool. Or the gym slash auditorium. Damn it. All right, and when you get the gold shadows. They are not exactly bosses. They're kind of your mid bosses. They are the specific shadows. They're not like actually characters or things, uh, enemies that you can only fight in one position. I think we'll fight a shadow in the future that looks like him, but it's not exactly, you know, this guy. It'll have some other shadow in it, but this is Heavenly Punisher. Um, Look, it's important to guard if you think yeah, you're in danger. in danger. Yeah, so guarding is actually really useful. Like other RPGs, it deflects your weaknesses, so you can't actually get hit by uh, knockdown attacks, like the one more is like that. So if you have a teammate who you know is weak to a certain element, it's also good to have them guard occasionally if you don't think you can take the guy out in a reasonable amount of time. But we should be good. Yeah, that's dope. Right. We get a crit here. Charge. Alright, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll play along here. We'll just guard. I don't even know if he's weak to anything. Usually the bosses don't have weaknesses. Like, there's, there's basically three kinds of bosses, right? So, there is a randomized dungeon in this game. There's, a, like, a randomized element. The bosses in those dungeons, those do have weaknesses. Like, a lot of them do have weaknesses. Bosses in story dungeons generally don't have too many weaknesses to exploit. Um, like, this guy, he probably, like, I'll try to get He's probably not weak to anything that, that I have, at least right now. Um, they do have resistances, so that's kind of cool. But, yeah, it's usually a matter of, like, endurance in these types of fights and less about just hitting the one more and getting the knockdown. Uh, some of the main bosses do have weaknesses, but, again, they have enough health where, and the, the boss fights are actually not as linear as generic boss fights, like knock them down, do an all-out attack. Um, so you end up having to be a little bit more uh, particular with how you handle your boss fights. All right. Go here. Uh, go there. Can you, can you ambush somebody? Okay, hide there. This is so inconvenient. There we go. The way they spot, they start you off if you find like a really odd location. So you have to like, you want to ambush enemies, but you can't even do that because you're just so close to them. Um, I beat that up. Pretty good. And I just, I'm probably going to speed these guys just because there's no reason to show off a bunch of random encounters or, you know, overworld encounters. And I can always grind off screen, so not really a big deal. And honestly, I shouldn't have to grind until, like, okay. the end of the game. And re really, with the advent of both dungeons, like, both dungeon types, um, it's really not that hard to stay appropriately leveled. Because, unlike other games, um, 
Well, if you can't, if it's not automatic, there's a there's a confidant that allows your teammates to get partial experience when they're not um, like in your active party. And even then, if you max that confidant out, they get full experience. So that's kind of the, one of the characters I'm going to prioritize because that saves a lot of time in grinding. Um, just like by the middle of the game, you can have full on you know, say. Oh God, there's two of them. All right, there's two. Of them. Let's actually do some of this action. And come on. There we go, ambush. Yeah, there's one more. But yeah, this area it was so creepy when I first started because you end up like in this big room with shadows controlling it. And if you're not strong, you really do have to plan out your area. Um your, your approach rather. Because oh my god, really? Alright, can we get a... Do this. These guys can summon. Some enemies can't summon other enemies. And that's, that is the key to if you don't kill them fast enough. Um, let's talk to me. Let me your power. Alright, I suppose. Um, you're right. What? My curse. No, curse. No, 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 no. What is this? What is this? Just try to escape. Oh my god, that didn't work. I, I'm trash. I'm trash. Alright, then you all get to die. Okay, really? You're gonna... Come on now. This is just... This is inconvenient. Hard to bless everybody. And you miss. You miss. You really miss. Okay. Right. Can you not summon? Can you? Thank you. Don't summon. Um, but yeah, this area, it's like... And here's the thing. There's, there's light... Okay, so I showed you the light puzzle elements of the last room, right? This next, this area, it was so confusing to start because, so we saw earlier in the game how you can jump on top of stuff. I didn't realize you could do that, so I'm running around this area looking for what to do next. And, uh, oh, there's two more shadows. Alright, so what you want to do here is actually climb up on top of this and climb up here. And so you can't go through here, so you have to turn back around. But, as you can tell, if you use third eye, you see those exclamation marks and tells you where to go. I didn't do this the first time. I was so confused. Um, and yeah, you get your little pseudo platformer. So, kind of kind of nice. I like this inclusion. I won't lie about that. Um, oh, treasure chest. Alright, cool. What's in here? Grimy gear? Oh, sorry. I skipped past that. But yeah, when you get dirty gear or broken um, broken stuff like that, it's actually... Uh, can I get something right here? Nothing? No. Just a thing. Um, what the crap am I supposed to do here? There's a thing. Isn't there a thing? I thought there was a thing. Alright. Can you... Oh, I guess I have to go back I can this way. Um, here we go. But yeah, grimy gear, or you'll see in different palaces, it's called different stuff. Um, but... Wait, what? Jump, jump, jump. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's what I was waiting for. I knew there was an enemy that comes, and I... What? Oh, my God. All right. We're going to have to pause it. We're pausing it. Pause it up. Pause it up. You'll never see it coming. You'll never see it coming when Audacity... Or not Audacity. When Elgato wants to cut out. I was praising Elgato. El 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 I was praising Elgato to you. I told you it was good. And now it has to cut out. So I'm a, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't. Know. There are no software updates that I can see. I even disconnected this computer from the internet, so it didn't try to download anything. It's screwing me up. Uh, this should be one part, okay. one continuous part. But uh, right when I went to that battle transition, what? This isn't. It. Wait. Oh, oh, there we go. This is how you do it. <laughs> Sorry, I was confused. Um, can you go down? There we go. That's how. You do it. Actually, if you just hold R2 to run, you'll do some auto jumping. So that's pretty convenient. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I don't know why. I don't know why this thing does this all the freaking time. It's very frustrating. Show me your true form. But what I think I might do, I might just bust out the hopper because I mean, I don't even know though. It's like they're both kind of trashy. They work, but I just need a better computer. I really do. Yeah, I could understand if I was doing something, editing a video or whatever, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm just recording. So, 
Honestly, I think though, sometimes when I do, when there's a lot of transitions in the games themselves, it okay. tends to the Elgato. I have no proof okay. this is not founded. Really um, right, there's a guy in there. I'm gonna go in here because it's just a room. Um, you know, that's not really founded in anything. But I just, I have a feeling that's right. Because when I play Overwatch, when I play games that don't have a lot of transitions, they just like, they on one screen and do stuff on it. Generally, the recording comes out just fine. But this, jumping back and forth, the battle scene, the regular scene, the battle scene, the regular scene, it seems like it's a good one. So, you know, it is what it is. Try to get that fixed sooner rather than later, though. But otherwise, I'm trying to think. What else? Um, okay. Something I'll mention is we just switched okay. over to Comcast, which is kind of interesting. I was surprised. Uh, when your house is already, you know, rigged up for one thing, like we had files before, you switch over to Comcast, it's actually pretty... Wait, there's nothing else in here? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait. Wait, no. There's nothing else in here. Um, when you switch over, it's a pretty seamless transition. Like, they just kind of plug the wires in. And it's funny, because we got the self home installation kits. And I tried to install it, and it wasn't connecting. It's time to find out that the wires for Comcast, they, when Verizon came through, they actually stuck them in the wall. So they didn't leave them exposed, so I was trying to connect, and the, the feed wasn't coming through because it was getting the Verizon feed your Verizon wires. They actually are the rigs so both of the feeds are at the same time. So some places, not your SL, this one, some places, they actually shut off like when they go like a break and flip it. It's like, oh, this house is the Verizon, the break is flipped to that, this house is the other thing. Is flipped. But we just have them both coming together. So, kind of cool, I guess. Um, if I had known that, I would just gone on the wall. And, because all you do is nice unscrew like a little plating, and you would have been able to swap the wires. But it's all set up now. It's uh, it's kind of cool though. It's it has like okay. so our last connection we had is like God knows how long <laughs> to the point easy. where you know the the Wi-Fi speeds like the people actually laughed at us when we were like yo we want to upgrade our connection like you, know, you don't even have the capabilities to do so because that junk is so old like your routers and all that junk are so old but um. Yeah, so Comcast, we got the new, like, gateway or whatever they call it. And they, uh, so they install, like, two different connections on the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5. And the 5 is for, like, streaming and gaming and stuff like that. It's crazy. For the first time in my life, I was able to play, uh, Splatoon online. No, no stopping. It would start, like, perfect, perfect connection on Wi-Fi. The Switch has a notoriously bad, like, Wi-Fi chip. But this, I played it perfectly. Perfectly. I played two games, no connection drops. I'm so pleased. I don't even play Splatoon like that, but the fact that I can play it wirelessly, okay. I'm kind of excited. That's pretty nifty. We cleaned up. I don't have a thing. I don't Let's have a chest going. key. Honestly, though, it's okay. All the stuff in the chest they scale with like your levels. So if it's the first dungeon, nothing you get in the chest, none of the equipment, I should say, will be any good, especially if it's New Game Plus. Um, the only thing that's good, like last chest, we got a bead, which I'll show you. Uh, beads, fully restore HP to one ally. So those are pretty useful. Um, but like any RPG, I'm never gonna use them. I'm just, I'm never gonna use them. There's no reason to, because you get to that point, you're like, eh, I don't want them. You notice? Oh God, here, not here again. All right, so this is, this isn't that it's bad. This shady. is a lot worse on your first run through because all the shadows are hella strong. Um, okay, let's go. But you can also stealth your way through this. As you tell, they're all, like I said, super strong. I'll I'll show off about them. I don't care. Uh, probably won't die. Oh god, I need to heal. Definitely won't die. Uh, you can tell they're even the same enemies. Like they're not special. They're just stronger. I guess have more HP or something or something. Uh, I don't know what that dude do. Um, but, bruh, you can't be missing out here. But yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna actually stealth my way through this, because there's no reason to fight all those guys over and over again. Because all I need is one random crit, one random crit, and I'm done. Okay. That's it. Alright, so let's go here. And actually, as you can tell, sometimes when you respawn, uh, not when you come back from a battle scene, not all the enemies, uh, respawn. You've got so. our sights set on them. What you the want to do is to get up there. Uh, from where though? Wait, do I go through the door? I guess I do go through the door. I can't go there. Alright, we're actually going to heal really quickly. Uh, you, 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 you. And when you turn around, I am going for it. 
Yep, through the door. Oh no, 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 no. I screwed it. Is it this way? Wait, 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 wait. I know I had it's over here. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. And yeah, as you can see, that guy when we walked out, he despawned, so there's only one guy over there. Um, Focus. That's true. Somewhere. Alright, now just run across. Yeah, so that's super easy. If you, uh, like I said, if you don't know wh what you're doing... Oh, what? There's a chest down there. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, they got me. Luckily, you can't see over that thing. Got him! Got him! Oh god, I juked him. Alright, don't jump down from that. That little shit. No! Son! No, son! No, son! No, son! I screwed it. I screwed it. Alright, I screwed it. 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 It's okay. Because my joker is too strong. My joker is too strong. My joker is too strong. I mean, you don't have to do anything. Oh, we got double? We got double doubles? Alright. We're shooting. You were shooting. No, 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 what are you doing, boy? Time for my comeback with styling Shoot her. Can you get that down? I'm it's back. Scary Here's what I want. I, Here's what I, want. I want. I don't even have area of effect spells. Get that mess out of here. Alright, take her out. Just kill. That's the key. Alright. And then, uh, Geo, I think you're not even weak to that. What is she weak to? Just lunge at her. Sure, that's not disgusting. Um, Agi, you're not even weak to- oh wait. Okay, I thought that was a cutscene. Alright, you're Dunskis, you're Dunskis on resistant. Kill, 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 and you're done. You're done. Re retreat, leave. Alright, so yeah. When your enemies die, they just kind of- or your teammates die, they just kind of retreat. Stop rushing, stop rushing. It's okay. not wise to fight head on. Yeah, there's retreat. Um, cool, so, like, they don't actually die and they'll respawn with uh, full health. Oh, yeah, so this is kind of cool. Akira can baton pass here. Uh, you press R2 after you knock down enemies. I don't want to do that because I'm stronger than all my teammates. Um, but you can do it. It's, I guess, a nice thing. Oh, my God. Chris? Are you kidding me? Chris? Critical hits? Okay, that was a little more painful than I thought. I, see, I was holding R2 and I jumped off of the castle wall and I didn't want to do that, but I did it, and so that's unfortunate. But. Okay. Alright, just heal everybody. Uh, I'll get my SP back because I have those rings. Alright, go up here. Go up here. Focus. This is what I want to do. Go over here. Go over here. Alright, don't jump down. See, I got right about there and you can jump down. That's not what you want to do. I, I thought the flame was a treasure chest like the Shimmer. I wonder if they did that on purpose because you don't see that anywhere else up here. It's just that one area. So you're probably thinking, oh, I'll jump down and get that treasure chest. And that's how they get you. But we do some hardcore parkour. I can feel all it. the way up the thing. And like even here, you can break through these boxes and you can just jump down. And it doesn't, you know, I have get something. You Alright, jump across, and jump up, jump up, and jump up, and get down. Alright. I don't know why he's sneaking like that. I don't know what the goal is here. Jump down. Okay, and now here is a key. Here's, here's something important. Um, there's like an elevator coming up, and you don't actually want to go down it. Um, Focus. Because it, it takes you back to like the beginning of an area. So it's like if you want to go back, it's cool. But Wait. I'm not going to go back. I'm not leaving this dungeon until I finish it. Alright, so. But this is a home stretch, See really. Um, can we. Okay, I can't go that way. I have to go. This way we got to go. Hmm. Get that thing. Um, and let's see. I'm trying to make sure I don't run any shadows. Honestly, if I can save the game, that'd be even better. Okay, this is the elevator. You don't want to go. It's a one-way elevator, so something. you can take it. I think it takes you to maybe an item and then something else, but it's not worth it because you have to go back around and go back up the castle because it goes up or something. Show me your true form. No, dude, just don't do it. It's not worth it. Ambush. <laughs> oh, 
other thing to note is when you're in a battle, if you've caught a persona before, you'll it'll have a name. If you haven't caught the persona before, then it will be like some descriptor about the persona itself. So it's like some okay. it'll be like illustrious mistress Easy or something win. random like they that. Were nothing. Um, So just keep that in mind. You'll know, like this guy. Okay, for example, this guy. Um, we fought him before as something, and we find out that he's actually Archangel. So, hold on. Fire. Oh wait, what? That's not what I wanted. I thought that those were his weaknesses, but those weren't for some Oh, Zeo. This. And is that a death? Oh, that is a death. With full scorpion. Freaking burning? I leveled up. Freaking boring? I think that's just boring because there's no end. It's just bur boring. That's crazy. Tar Tarukasha, that I think increases okay. attack, so he can, I can buff buffs. I really don't use Ryuji for buffs though. Um, it's just not really worth it. It doesn't have enough SP. Though with the SP uh, shield thingy. That's our band thing. It's kind of useful. Actually, I go back. I wanted to show you that. That's so cool. The stairs, they like rebuild themselves. But um, let me see. If I enter and exit, I'm actually going to end the part right. here. Because we are really close to the final, uh, not final boss, but the end of this dungeon. Let me see. Can the stairs remake themselves? Like, look at this. It's so cool. You walk up. And they make them still they make themselves for you. That's kinda cool. But uh, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Next time hopefully the video doesn't cut out like the last three million episodes. And uh, we'll finish off this castle likely and see what lies in store for our band of heroes here. I should write Once again, something. thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.